Let's talk about that vampire film. Hello and welcome back to Popcorn Chat. I hope you guys are doing well. In this week's video, we're talking about that trailer that you've seen about 100 times already. And that is the latest in association with Marvel film, Morbius. So the film follows Michael Morbius, played by Jared Leto, who is a scientist who has this rare sort of blood disorder and is determined to help other people. So he also wants to have a friend that he made as a child when he was in a similar situation called Milo, who was played by Matt Smith. And yeah, the, the rest of it is just chaos. So in terms of my overall thoughts, my non-spoiler thoughts, um, I thought this film was pretty bad. Uh, I knew it was gonna be bad going in from what I heard from other sort of film critics and from the trailer that's just been over-marketed. We've seen it so many times. Um, I wasn't expecting much and I think, yeah, I was right to not expect much with this film. I don't like the character design. Uh, I think the CGI is poor throughout the film. Um, there's certain things they do, which is very sort of stylistic, not really a fan of. Um, the score was nothing interesting. I think there was a good cast there. Um, I think there's some good actors in there. They've done some very sort of reputable films. However, I think from the direction and the script itself, they didn't have much to work with um, and I think it's all a little bit silly. Um, <laughs> I think Matt Smith's having a very good time in this film. Everyone else is trying to take it very seriously and I don't think it knows quite where to land in terms of the tone. What I did like about the film was the fact how short it was. About an hour and 40 minutes uh, means I could come and watch it straight after work and come back home in a nice good time whereas the Marvel films were a lot longer than an hour and 40 minutes. Um, so that's something that I do think it has a redeeming quality of. A few of the side characters, like one of the um, one of the detectives, I thought he was quite funny, the guy with the moustache and the glasses. I thought he was a pretty funny character. Um, everyone else, it was tough. It was tough to try and connect with these characters and feel for them. Generally, I thought it was a really bad film. It's probably the worst cinematic experience I've had of 2022 thus far. Um, it's not going to be at the top of the list come the end of the year I'll say that now so in terms of spoilers I think what they did with Matt Smith's character um like I said like the bad CGI the sort of the comedic tone that he has compared to everyone else is a bit ridiculous and anytime he was on screen I was audibly laughing whether he was dancing in his room or sort of flying about I just it was so silly and I felt so bad for Matt Smith because I think he's a good actor. He had Last Night in Soho, which came out last year. He's in very good films and TV with the right direction and the right script, but this was just something else. Um, and I was like, I don't think he got the memo. So going back to the trailers after watching this film, you can see how much they actually baited audiences into this film. There's a lot of references to Spider-Man and we see the, the vulture in the trailer quite a lot. However, He's not even in it till the post credit scenes and he's in two, he's in two post credit scenes. I thought they really sort of baited people in with those references to the Spider-Man sort of universe, um, whether they knew what was gonna happen with um, the latest one, No Way Home. Even though those post credit scenes happened, I don't have much hope for them. I think they're trying to set up a Sinister Six, which is what I would have liked to have seen in No Way Home. Um, so it's gonna cross a murky border with Sony, and in association with Marvel, with Venom, now Vulture coming into this side. Um, it's gonna get a little bit messy, I think, because they had so many core characters in those Spider-Man films already, which is MCU based, and then we have Sony. So I don't know how they're gonna do it logistically. Um, we shall see, but I, I don't have much hope for a Sinister Six if they do do that. So what are my overall thoughts of Morbius? I thought this film was pretty bad. It's probably the worst film I've seen in a long time in terms of new releases. Um, I think the performances were poor, cinematography was poor, um, there's nothing creative in terms of camera movements besides just some shoddy sort of handheld work that would go from one character like this. Uh, I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, bullet time, no thank you. And yeah, there, there was some okay bits, but generally I didn't like this film at all. So I'm gonna give this film one and a half stars out of five. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review of Morbius, a lot more than the film at least, fingers crossed. Let me know your thoughts of Morbius down below in the comments. I'd love to re 
Let me know your thoughts on movies down below in the comments. I'd love to check those out. Where do you think this is going to go in terms of Sinister Six, Sony, MCU, Spider-Man? I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm sure they have no idea what's going to happen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next Popcorn Jacks.